Hey, 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 we are on day 15. Welcome to the healing moment. This is Apostle Cheryl Weaver, and I'm coming to you live from my office in headquarters in Champaign, Illinois. We are talking about the 22 blessings of the birthright and the 22 blessings over our bodies. And so we've combined these to bring forth a devotion of 22 days. So welcome and let's get started. On day 15 we are of the 22 blessings. And so day 15 of the birthright is father of kings. So Abraham is the father of kings. Jesus is in that bloodline and he is the greatest king of all kings and we are grafted in. So we have the ability and the inheritance of being the father of kings. So begin and declare and decree this over your children and your grandchildren that you shall be the father or the mother of kings. Great men and great women of God shall come forth out of your bloodline because of your rightful birthright inheritance. Amen. Amen. And also we're on day 15, we are blessing your legs and your feet. So we receive that blessing of the Father of Kings. And today your legs and your feet assist you in movement. They are used in standing, walking, jumping, running, balance, all things that give you mobility, right? And support. Spiritually, legs and feet are a symbol for pilgrimage of your life. They are uh, washing of the feet represents humility and service and cleansing. Your legs and feet are a blessing to uphold and carry you on to your destiny. It represents forward movement in the kingdom. Psalms 119, 114 through 18 says, you are my hiding place, my shield. I hope in your word. Uphold me according to your word so I may live. And do not let me be ashamed of my hope. Hold me up and I shall be safe. I shall observe your statues continually. You reject all those who stray from your statues for they, their deceit is falsehood. And so today we are being upheld spiritually by the Father, by Jesus Christ, and our legs are taking us forward in great momentum towards our destiny, towards our future. Amen. So we want to bless our legs. They have to function to get us where we're going, <laughs> spiritually speaking. Thank you, infinite Father, that you are my hiding place and my shield. I thank you for my legs and my feet and all of the veins that run through my legs and all the muscles and the tendons and the tissues and the joints, both in the spiritual and in the physical. I speak blessing over my legs and my veins and my feet for them to uphold me in your righteousness. Just repeat after me. For strength all the days you have ordained for me and for my health to walk humbly before you within your never-ending spiral of love and grace. Father, if there is any problem in this area, we ask your healing miracle touch right now. Lord, if there's any curse that has happened regarding our legs or our future or our destiny or our movement or our veins or our muscles, our feet, anything that would be cursed against us from moving forward into our future and our destiny, uh, any curses against our feet or our legs, we repent to the third and fourth generation of any sins, transgressions, or iniquities that have prevented are me and my bloodline to move forward and gain momentum into the call and destiny that you have for each one of us in Jesus name. And Father, I ask for a miracle healing in our legs, our feet, our bones, and our muscles, everything that our hips that represent moving forward. Hips represent relationships. 
So if there's any broken relationships that are keeping us from moving forward, we forgive them, we repent for their sin, we forgive their sin, we repent for our sin, ask forgiveness for our sin in Jesus' name. And we ask now for our legs uh, to be strengthened now and our feet to be strengthened now and our ankles to be strengthened and our hips to be loosed and strengthened in Jesus name. Thank you for your support that goes beyond my understanding. My hope is in you Lord. And today's blessing body tip is be mindful when you eat. Bless your food and drink. Pray a prayer over your dinner, over your lunch, over your snack. Be intentional with purpose of your food. Many countries now are praying over the food that they produce and send out to their idols. So let us pray to our true one God, our true one God, hallelujah, to bless the food that we eat so that no harm shall befall us. In Jesus' name. This is your healing moment. I am Apostle Cheryl Weaver and coming to you live from There's More Ministries. Have a great and glorious day filled with love. And remember, the love you give away is the only love you keep. <laughs>